Hi everyone, this is Emma. I'm a volunteer with the Shasta Historical Society and this is a part of a project that we're doing where we're making videos about the historical significance of different sites in Shasta County. If you have any comments or questions, you should leave them in the section below, I think is where you leave comments. Or if you want to make a video of your own, then you should reach out to us. We would love to have your involvement. Today I'm at the Diesel Horse Bridge. The Diesel Horse Bridge was built in 1915, and before its construction, the only way to cross the river was by using Edward Reed's ferry, which, hap which um, operated from 1860 right up until the bridge opened, at which point it was put out of business. But the bridge was known for a while as uh, Reed's Ferry Bridge. The Diesel Horse was constructed as a part of Highway 99, connecting Redding North to Wairika. So the Diesel Horse was the first bridge in Northern California made for specifically automobiles. It's 639 feet long, 25 feet wide, open spandrel, and made out of reinforced concrete. This bridge withstood a massive flood when it was being constructed, and another massive flood 25 years later that wiped out every other bridge in Redding. It's named the Diesel Horse Bridge because of the uh, place where it was built on Gottlieb Diesel Horse's property. Gottlieb Diesel Horse was a German immigrant that came here in 1853 for the gold rush. He and his wife Caroline had a series of businesses, including a laundromat and a, a produce operation. They bought 84 acres of land in what was then Poverty Flats and started their own farm. When Gottlieb retired, he left the farm to his two sons, Charles and John. In 1920, Charles and John started the Diesel Horse Auto Camp, and that turned into this big summer resort with 31 cabins, its own store, and a uh, gas station. The Diesel Horse Bridge has been a site for a lot of uh, water festivals and water activities. It was always a local swimming location, but it also had um, the Lake Reading Regatta, which had a lot of boating and swimming competitions. But people would come here and they would dive off the side of the bridge into the water. The reason why people liked swimming here was because the water was warmer then, before the dam was built. Then it got colder. Uh, the Lake Reading Bridge, which I'm guessing is the one right there, opened in 1997 and that's when this building was closed to vehicular traffic and was exclusively for bicycles and for pedestrians and instead of highway 99 it connected the sacramento river trails to like caldwell park and the sundial bridge and all that sort of fun recreational stuff the diesel horse bridge is on the national register of historic um, locations and it underwent a huge renovation project so that it met the guidelines. But now the Diesel Horse is just a great place for Reading locals to come and enjoy just time with their family, responsibly. All right, thank you so much.